Hi, Caitlin. Hi. Thank you for meeting with me today. Um, just so that our audience knows a little bit about Caitlin, she is a four-time Parapan Olympian, boasting two gold, a silver, and a bronze medal. Um, Caitlin, will you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so um, I actually, when I was seven years old, I was involved in a motor vehicle accident and I sustained a spinal cord injury at T12. So what that means is my spinal cord is severed in half. What I really learned at a young age, like at seven, when I got hurt was how important it was for me to do my exercises. And it was just that small. Like I was really determined because I, I think at seven, eight, when I was going through this, I thought I was gonna walk again like someday. I thought I had an opportunity. So I was really diligent, I was determined. You also work with the nonprofit Athletes for Care. Can you kind of talk about how um, you got involved with them and um, what you do with Athletes for Care? Yeah, so Athletes for Care really helped me when I thought that I was, um, I was really kind of in a low place. Um, I had decided to like hang up my racket, so to speak. I had retired after um, playing professional wheelchair tennis on the tour for almost 20 years. And um, after the Paralympics in Rio in 2016, I, um, I decided that I was tired of taking these seven medications that I've been taking for my whole entire life. And I was just ready to try something new. And so I decided that I was gonna get my medical marijuana card here in, in the state of Arizona. And I kid you, I kid you not to this day, which is really exciting. I don't feel tired anymore. The medical marijuana is able to do what those seven medications did for me, but gave me horrible side effects. So I reached out to Athletes for Care through a Google search, purely, just purely luck. Um, I was looking for a doctor or someone that could write a TUE for me, which is a therapeutic use exemption form, um, so that I could go back because I decided that I wanted to compete in another sport called paracanoe. And I was like, I am not going to compete again under these circumstances. I was just miserable. And even you can look at pictures of me where I just was more bloated, like I just had more inflammation and I, marijuana really, like the CBD really changed like the way my body felt and how how good it like I just I didn't wake up tired and feeling crappy. Athletes for Care is honoring you at the Phoenix Tour Athletes for Care golf tournament um, in Chandler in April. And can you kind of tell us what that honor means for yeah. you? Oh man, the I'm I'm really honored. I get goosebumps just thinking about it because I feel like I'm part of that like pioneer phase of something that was just so, like if you think about it like 10 years ago, it's just so ludicrous to think that, um, I think most of my competition would have thought I'm a pothead, I'm a loser, what is she doing? Um, doesn't she know that's bad for her health? Or you know, you know, everybody knows that commercial or that public service announcement where they put an egg in the frying pan and then this is your brain and this is your brain on drugs. And you know, I think a lot of people think that's what it's about, but it's so not. Just like, yes, it kind of it kind of like makes your brain a little chill out, but that so calms down my anxiety, my depression, but my body just feels so like I have no pain, I'm calm, I don't have that, um, I'm not fighting the pain like I would normally and or waiting for those medications to like kick in. Like with mar medical marijuana, it's like an instant feel better. Um, but to be nominated or honored by them, I just can't believe it's actually, I can't even, I still like pitch myself that this is happening because we're in, finally in a place in the world where it's becoming more accepted and I'm hoping more athletes and more organizations, more people change their mind or their views about medical marijuana and what it can do for not just an athlete, but for everybody.